Okay, so today on Roblox, I got hacked live on my stream. Uh, wait, what the wrong? And not only did I get hacked once, I actually got hacked twice in two different Roblox games. All by this guy right here, Mr. Tubers93. Now, I'm going to be honest, there's a lot that went down today. And in this video, I'm going to tell you everything. I just do want to say real quick that it is important to watch the full video here, just so that you can understand the full story. But with that being said, let's hop into it. So, Mr. Tubers93. Now, that name may seem a little bit familiar. If you guys remember back during the Jenna invasion, was, was, it, was it last week? A real Roblox hacker going by the name of Tubers93, or at least claiming to be, actually hacked the Roblox Jenna game live on my stream. Now, I made a whole video talking about this last week, but basically what it came down to is this hacker found a backdoor into the game through a fake HD admin script. That script was then removed from the Jenna game, and the hacker apparently lost access to it. And well, I thought that was the end of it, but apparently not. You see, today on live stream, after I watched some Darman videos, I was getting ready to do a Roblox quiz. I was going to do this live with my audience, and right as I started it, this message once again popped up. The same loud noise from the Jenna game, the same messages from the Jenna game, Tubers93 is back. Now this was really shocking to me because how did this guy have access to this game too? This is Guess the Logo, which is actually a really popular Roblox game and has been for a very long time. Did this guy just hack the game or has he always had access to it? Well, that's when I looked up in the top left corner and realized that this game also has the HD admin script. I'm guessing that once again, this is some fake one? Like, like, how are all these games getting fake admin scripts? Like, what is going on here? Or maybe possibly this Tubers93 guy is getting into these games some other way. Either way, this guy was legit, he's real, and this game was once again hacked. Now, the story is about to get way more interesting, but first, we need to talk about Meep City getting banned, because it all ties in together. So, earlier yesterday, before I started my live stream, Meep City actually got banned by Roblox. Now, the reason for this, I'm guessing, is because two days ago, I actually made a video talking about all the non-family-friendly stuff that goes on in the game, specifically with the parties feature inside a Meep City. Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics here, but it's pretty wild. Well, apparently Roblox Moderation saw that video, they took down the game, and it's being held for review. Well, at the same time that this Tubers93 guy is hacking me live on stream, I get a message from Tubers93, or at least someone claiming to be him, saying that Meep City is back online and I should go check it out. So on my live stream, I look, and sure enough, Roblox has put Meep City back up. Now, this got me interested because I'm like, okay, well, what, what did they do? What did Meep City do to, to rectify these mistakes? So we hopped in the game and we actually found out that Meep City removed the party feature. They just straight up deleted parties from the game. Now, I just want to take a moment and actually applaud Roblox moderation here. In the span of 48 hours of me making this video, they not only took down the third most popular game on Roblox, but they also made them remove one of the biggest features in the game just for safety. And that's actually really good. So huge hats off to Roblox there. Unfortunately, the bad news for Meep City keeps on coming though, because as I was checking out Meep City and looking at all the changes that they had to make, some of you in my live stream noticed that my money was starting to disappear in the game. When I started off Meep City, I had nearly 2 million coins, and then those coins slowly started disappearing until I had exactly 93. Now, you probably can see where I'm going with this. 93 coins, tubers 93, this is all starting to add up. Now, I double-checked to make sure I was in the real Meep City game, and sure enough, I was. So just for the sake of skepticism, I thought maybe this is some data issue. I'm sure it'll clear up. But then someone started changing my avatar live in the game. My avatar changed to this bacon hair dude, which is actually the exact same avatar that this Tubers93 guy uses. Not only that, but my money also got changed again. Now, this is when I started to get actually really concerned, because this isn't some, like, secondhand Roblox game on Roblox. This is the third most popular game on the platform. Are you telling me that this hacker dude who's been following me for weeks just hacked the third most popular game on the platform? Or maybe he's had access to it. Has he had a backdoor into this game for, for years now? Maybe he's just now using it to troll me on live stream? I have no idea. But during the live stream, I straight up called him out. I was like, yo, if you're Tubers93, change my money again and change my avatar again. Now, immediately after this, I'm like, okay, Meep City has definitely been hacked this is 
is no meme, no scam, no lie. Someone has a backdoor into Meep City. I don't care if they mess with my money. I don't care if they mess with my stuff. I don't really play the game that much, but people who actually play the game, you telling me that this guy can actually mess with actual players of the game, that's a problem. So I tweeted it out, and about as soon as I tweeted it out, the hacking stopped. The guy just straight up disappeared off of Meep City. Where did he go? I have no idea. Now, right after that from the crazy stream, I'm gonna be honest, I went and took a nap. And when I woke up, I saw that RTC, they tweeted and said that Meep City is now safe to play. I don't know what happened. I don't know if they caught the dude. I don't know if they found the back door that he was using to get into the game. Because the thing is, Meep City doesn't have an HD admin panel. It's Meep City. Again, it's the third most popular game on Roblox. You would think it would be safe and secure, but somehow this guy keeps getting into these games. How is he doing it? I have no idea. But unfortunately, that's kind of where this story ends for right now. Is Meep City still hacked? I don't know. How is this guy keep getting into all these games? I have no idea. Who is this guy? Is he the real Tubers93? Again, I don't know. I'm going to keep digging. I'm going to keep trying to find out some information on this. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future updates to this. And <laughs> man, this year has been pretty crazy, huh? What a wild few weeks. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.